If Russian is your first language, you may be wondering if speaking with more of an American accent is possible for you. By the end of this video, you'll know how to start today to feel more confident with your accent. So over the last 14 years, I've been working with non-native English speakers uh, from all over the world and teaching them how to speak clear and confident American English. And there are some patterns that I've seen um, with different people in different parts of the world and with um, specific accents. So when it comes to Russian speakers, here is what I've come to understand. So Russians tend to have much higher level in their English. Their pronunciation is usually really good. They're usually very clear. They're extremely educated and, um, and ambitious. And it makes me think of one of my students, Alex, and he would come to our study groups that we have throughout the week. Um, he would come to our study groups and He's very high level. He's had a good amount of success in his career as a salesperson. And he would come to these study groups. We would work on pronunciation and just fine tuning some of the little things that he needed to work on. But it was very clear to me that he needed more than just pronunciation practice. So, you know, in, in a specific study group, I remember working with him and recognizing that his problem wasn't necessarily about pronunciation. His problem was more about confidence. It was the way that he was thinking about himself and the way that he spoke English that was really holding him back. So if you are a Russian speaker and you're wondering, is it possible for me to be able to really improve my spoken English? Here's the message I have for you. You're probably better than you think you are. Um, there's really no need to be so hard on yourself. There may be cultural standards that you're trying to reach of taking it to the, the highest level possible, getting perfect in your American English accent. And if this is the case, that's great. If that's your goal, wonderful. But it shouldn't keep you from really being able to go after what you want now. So here's what I want you to remember. You know, when it comes to pronunciation, yes, there's things to improve. There's ways to get better. So get into a daily practice that involves listening to native English speakers. Really get to know why they sound the way they do. Really work on that rhythm of American English. So there's the sounds of American English and the rhythm of American English. So as you get really familiar with how your speech differs from an American speaker, then you'll be able to have the understanding of like, how does your, your pronunciation, your accent need to improve, okay? Get familiar with the common error patterns that Russian speakers tend to have. Now I have a whole other video with the most common error patterns for Russian speakers that I want you to take a look at, but get really familiar with these error patterns. Really learn them, retrain the way that they, you're hearing American English and you're speaking American English. And as you do, you'll be able to continue to refine and perfect that American English accent, all right? Now this process, it takes a good amount of time. It takes practice, it takes repetition, and especially at that high level um, that you probably are at, it's going to take feedback. It's going to take coaching and training at a higher level. So you may want to look into getting a trainer of some sort or, or participating in a very structured program because that higher level requires more specific targeted work. Okay. But as you do this, you'll be able to continue to refine and perfect um, that American English accent. Now, the biggest area that I want you to focus on is your mindset around speaking English. Now, this is what I saw with Alex, is that he came to these study groups, he worked really hard, he had such a great, strong work ethic, but it was his mindset, not his mouth, that was really getting in the way. So when, he, when we really stopped and I said, okay, Alex, let's look at the way you see yourself and your accent. Let's take a look at the way that you are 
you're setting this high standard for you yourself, maybe this unrealistic standard for yourself that of complete and total perfection. That's not co what communication is all about. Communication is about connection. It's about being able to speak freely with your conversational partner and create a connection between the two of you, okay? If your English is clear, it's easy to understand, but you're not speaking up or you're not participating in the conversation because you feel like you're not perfect, then that's gonna create a disconnect for, between you and your conversational partner. So what you have to do is really get clear about your mindset when it comes to speaking English. Get clear that mistakes are part of the process. You're going to make mistakes. English is not your native language. And so there is going to be some mistakes that are happening and that's okay. The path to perfection is through making a lot of mistakes. It's failing over and over and over again until you can kind of reach that goal, okay? It's that confidence that really makes a difference between speaking up and staying quiet. And when you stay quiet, the world misses out on you. It misses out on all the insight and experience and expertise that you have because you're, you're, you're not confident in the way that you speak, you're keeping quiet and that is hurting everyone. But you, if you can recognize that, hey, I'm going to make mistakes and it's okay for make, me to make mistakes, that's how I learn. You're retraining the mind to think in a new way, okay? So instead of staying quiet, you're really putting yourself out there and saying, okay, I'm going to speak up, I'm gonna make mistakes and that's okay but I'm gonna communicate. I'm gonna connect with this person. I am going to see how I can add value to their lives. And through that connection, through that communication, we're going to be able to accomplish more than if I were to stay back and be quiet. So as I worked with Alex on his mindset, we got clear about the role of mistakes in being able to accomplish his goal. We looked at maybe his culture and his culture and his background and why he feels insecure about sounding like a Russian when he speaks English. Um, we talked about just not wanting to have to explain where he's from all the time and have people ask, where are you from? But to have pride in who he is and where he's from. He was really able to bring back that personal power, really understand that he doesn't have control over anybody else, their judgment or their perception of him, but he has control over himself and that's where his personal power is. That's where he is going to be able to stand in his confidence and be able to speak more freely and fluently because he wasn't so insecure or self-conscious about the way that he was speaking English, but that he could recognize that it's just in speaking up, it's in talking, it's in connecting with this person that he was able to accomplish his goal of being able to to further his career and that he would be able to create more connection with the people he was selling to and that he could add more value to their lives through what he was offering. It was really fun to be able to see Alex grow in his confidence. He got to a point in his confidence where it wasn't as important for him to be perfect. He didn't really care so much about that because he was confident in the way he spoke English. So if you're struggling with your pronunciation, if your native language is Russian and you are trying to reach that level of perfection, I ask you to just kind of take a step back and think about it for a little bit. Do you want to be perfect or do you want to feel confident? As you take these steps to change your mindset and how you speak English, you will be able to build that confidence in your spoken English and be able to accomplish the goals that you're really wanting in your life, in your career, in the connection that you have with other English speakers. So if you want to learn more about how to improve some of these common pronunciation mistakes that Russian speakers make in English, definitely take a look at this next video.